personally up to date i've never understood why is it that those people who are always on the front line hurting just showing the star success that you're not needed here and that you don't belong here are still so much concerned about what is going on within their lives i don't know why because from my own perspective i believe once you had somebody you don't have to know how how he's doing whether he's bettering off or things on his or her side is not getting any better that should be none of your concern that's how i understand but i'm always surprised like you see them kind of tweeting how is harry what is harry doing where is he where is megan and stuff of the sort so i'm like why are you so much concerned about the aware about yet you are the same people who make them feel uncomfortable in that particular country that particular continent and mad them leave and now they are out here kind of just questioning and questioning and questioning Today, I came across a tweet that was tweeted by the Royal News Network on their Twitter page. Guess what they wrote? And I'm even shocked because I'm just curious, does Harry have any sort of job anymore? Besides the ceremonial roles at the Invictus game and better up? The guy doesn't seem to do anything else but travel and endlessly point Fiquette. I thought he hates the media. He sure does enjoy cutting it. That's what they tweeted and said. And I'm like, why do you want to know what he does and what he doesn't? Whether he's working, whether he's not, what's your concern? And I don't know what they'll say after this course. It's just today whereby he got another appointment to join the board of directors. What are they going to say about that? Because, you know, with them, they're expecting to see them struggle. They're not expecting them to see them thrive. But it's embarrassing. They really need to be embarrassed. Because uh, just look at how good things keep on turning to Harry and Meghan. Just look at the big wins they keep on making. Proving them wrong, that's their predictions, the things that they wanted, are never coming to happen anytime soon. Because you know what? These people are so much determined with a very, very positive heart. And with them, they are out here minding their own business. And they don't literally care what goes on back in the UK. But it's so weird how the ones back in the UK are so much concerned about these two lovely couples who are currently based in California minding their own business. Because I'm like, what's, what's the need? Like, what's your problem? What's your issue? I don't understand what exactly are they trying to insinuate. Because for Harry and Meghan are busy out here minding their business. Whether working or not, because if they were not working, how were they able to manage their life? How were they able to get themselves a mansion? How are they able to pay for their own security? Those are the questions that they need also to be asking themselves. If yes, they aren't working, how are these good things kind of still revolving? And imagine just seeing them thriving, glowing. Tell to that these people have money. They can do whatever they want. They can get whatsoever thing they want. Because at this particular moment, they are well so much stable and don't rely on any tax spare money. They don't have to be running up and down every single day just so that you people can see and know what they are doing. I believe they have a lot of things that they are doing. Things that really, really bring money to their table. Things that assist them in paying their bills. Because Harry and Meghan are not lazy. Like the lazy grifters back in the UK. They are not. Because to that point whereby you see the so-called working royals complaining of how it's now currently a workload. Yet they are not even doing anything. You just get to hear they're in a staycation, they're in a vacation for two months and so. When Harry and Meghan were there, they'll do their duties. Not considering what time or what day. That's why I always still refer to that point where by Duchess Megan was pregnant, but still sent to go do a duty, and yes, she did. Thus, a really hard working couple. It's just that they can't come to acceptance that they are doing so better without them. They are doing much better than them. They are in a better place than them in terms of the love 
that they have with people, the impactful things that they've done to the society, to the community. They are so much far from them. I'm not surprised. I'm always not shocked whenever I see a negative tweet from the other side, because basically they're paid to do so. Because there's no way you'll just be waking up every single day wanting to trash over somebody you know nothing about. Somebody who hasn't wronged you even a single bit. I'm always not shocked. But either way, they are free to do it. Because it's a matter of them doing what they love. For their own audience. And I bet they are so much appreciated and loved for doing so. Because there's only that 1% who doesn't love Harry and Meghan. And Harry and Meghan don't care. Because the things that they've done speak out for themselves and they believe there are people out here who genuinely love them and appreciate them. And this is something we can't and we don't even have to debate about because it's so obvious. Harry and Meghan have got squaddies who love them out here. They got connections. They got prominent people within their circle. And you know, the press is kind of so mad and now that they don't have the so-called insiders or William is no longer there close to them to be leaking information to them. Because now they don't know what Harry does, what Mega does. They don't even know their moves. Harry and Meghan can be making moves without anyone noticing or without anyone monitoring them. And that is one thing they can't come to acceptance about. They have to adjust. Because Harry and Meghan, I believe they've got more and more and more. And the fact that they are so much comfortable, no longer in a toxic environment, personally, I support them. They can continue being them. And the fact that they decided just to have a small circle within them, people who genuinely support them. Because imagine you being in a family whereby they don't support your decision. They don't support the person you've fallen in love with just because of race. But at the moment, Harry and Meghan have got a circle of good friends. Prominent people, not forgetting Tyler Perry, a billionaire, who was there to support them when they needed help the most. This one leaves them in shock because they never expected if they'll get assistance at that particular cri critical moment. And at the moment, they are able to stand on their feet. They are able to pay for whatsoever bill. They are able to cater for their own expenses without anyone assisting them. Yes. And this is one thing like they just need to kind of let them because this is just even not obsession. Personally, I say this is becoming an illness because uh, you're so much into people's life that are not like... They are there, they are very much relevant to the society, to the community, but you are so much into their lives and just spreading negativity. Because there is no that single day you will hear them utter a word or cover a story of, let's say, Harry and Meghan having done or created or having hosted any successful event. And I'm always like, where are they? Because if, yes, they are on this side of just hating on Harry and Meghan, why don't they speak about the working royals and what they are doing? Yes, they can come trash about them on this other side, but let's also know what the so working royals are doing. Because they don't even speak about them. This tells that they don't see any relevance of their so-called working royals, but can see how incompetent they are. I'm not shocked. I'm always not surprised. Because I believe there is a huge force behind all this. There are people out here who are just kind of paid to trash and hurt on them. There is somebody always sponsoring this smear campaign about the star success. And this is something that didn't start yesterday or the day before. This is something that Princess Diana had to experience up to the last dates of her life. And now it's Harry and Megan experiencing it. But one thing I believe, everything that has a beginning never fails to have an end. They will soon come to regrets and just ask for forgiveness for what they made them go through. That's from my own perspective. I don't know what you think about this. Kindly just leave your comments down below. And that was our today's podcast. And thank you so much for tuning in. And see you guys in our next podcast. Bye.